Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example. This is our fourth example on how to work with exponential growth and decay. In this case, it's kind of like a decay problem. The amount will be decreasing according to the equation uh, P equals P sub naught e to the minus k times h. h in this case is height, elevation. All right, let's read our problem. It says it has been shown that the atmospheric pressure can be calculated with the equation P equals P sub naught e to the minus 0.21h, where P sub naught is 14.7 pounds per square inch, which would be the air pressure at sea level, 14.7 pounds per square inch, and H is expressed in miles. And the question then becomes, what is the air pressure in Denver, known as the mile high, the mile high city, and what is the pressure as a percent of the pressure at sea level? So let's find out what the pressure is in Denver, the atmospheric pressure, and how that compares in percent to the pressure at sea level. All right, so again, let's write down our equation. The pressure as a function of height above sea level is equal to the original pressure at sea level times e to the minus 0.21 h, h being the elevation or height in miles. So what are we looking for here? They want to know the pressure. So pressure as a function of h is equal to question mark when h equals one mile. All right, it's very important that you figure out what we're asking for, what is given, what we're asking for. So we're definitely asking for this right here, and so we leave the equation as is. We plug in the P sub naught, it's 14.7, and we plug in 1 for H. So P, when H equals 1, is equal to, and notice how I always do this. I always write what the variable that it depends on is equal to, so that it makes a lot more sense. We're looking for the pressure when the height is equal to 1 mile. Sometimes we get lazy, we don't do that, <clears throat> and it makes it sometimes uh, more difficult to understand what we're actually trying to do. So plug in the 14.7 e to the minus 0.21 times 1. So simplifying that, we have the pressure when h is equal to 1 is equal to 14.7 e to the minus 0.21. And now we grab a calculator. So we have uh, 0.21 negative raise that to the exponent e, so this is equal to 14.7 times 0 0.81, which is, so the pressure when h is equal to 1 is equal to 2 times 14.7 equals, so it's 11.9, and of course that's in pounds per square inch. So the air pressure in Denver is 11.9 pounds per square inch. That's why when the football teams go to Denver to play the Denver Broncos, they have to deal with that. That's what we call home court or home field advantage. All right, but the second part of the question says, what is the pressure as a percent of the pressure at sea level? And that's what this number is right here. So this expresses the percentage, so the e to the minus 0.21 is the percent of the air pressure at sea level. So simply put, that is 81%. So the air pressure in Denver is 81% of what it is at sea level. So that comes right out of the equation. And another way of looking at it, what is the percent reduction? Well, since we started at 100%, 14.7 pounds, went down to 81%, which is 11.9 pounds per square inch. So that's a reduction of 19% of the atmospheric pressure in Denver. Okay, and that's how you work a problem like that. So we have a few more examples waiting for you in a few more videos, so stay tuned.